Why is there a Barbie doll next to your bed? Hey, son. Just come to tuck you in. Yo. I'm with my girlfriend. Huh? I'm with my girlfriend! Oh, that's okay. She might enjoy a fairy tale too. I don't charge nothing, except you probably do. <laughs> that's okay though. Sing that. Fairy tales from long ago. Let's see. Oh, 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 yes, a classic. The Hansel Twins. What? Oh, 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 no, sorry, sorry, I got it wrong. Hansel and Gretel. Now listen closely. Once upon a time, there was a little girl and a little boy named Hansel and Gretel. Not in that order, though. Wait, maybe it was in that order. I don't know names. And I don't need no book. Dad, stop throwing my books. I'm your father, son. I'll do whatever I want. Now pay attention to the story. You too, young lady. There was this father who had grown tired of his children. And we all do. We all do. But he took it to new extremes that many parents could never do, many parents dream of, could never do. But wait till I describe these children to you. These children to you. Hansel was a stupid little brat who was obsessed with candy and had it caked all over his face. He was as dumb as a bag of hammers that were caked in cow dung. Just all around an unpleasant little boy, and uh, Gretel. And Gretel was just a little bitch. But the father, the father was the best character in the story. He had a big, wide, sexy frame, and he could rock a tie-dye shirt like no other 12th century German father could ever have. We're almost there, kids! You said that like four hours ago! Going. Is it handy? Is it handy there? After the father led these two horrible children into the woods, he executed his well thought out and organized plan of escape. What is that? What? Is it handy? Puppy? Are you getting handy? Fortunately, or unfortunately, if you're a parent looking to get rid of some ungrateful brats, Gretel, bitch that she was, had her wits about her. Fortunately, I left a trail of jelly beans so we could find our way back, just in case this would happen. And you know, I'm surprised it hasn't happened sooner. I think I don't think you I don't think it's left. I think I ate them. What? Oh, he's candy. Oh, he's candies. Oh, candies. Oh, candies. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And, and then I ate them. They were delicious. And was able to lead herself and Hansel to sanctuary in the woods. And this sanctuary was the DMV. The Department of Motor Vehicles, yes. The the place that shouldn't be in the woods, but was for some reason, where the administrative staff greeted them at the door, because every DMV does that, took them in for milk and cookies, took care of them, called their parents, but then the father didn't pick I up the thought, fu I thought it was a gingerbread house. No! That's just stupid! What is this son of mine doing dating this uncultured, unilliterate swine of a tart? I've never heard of such an egregious mistake in my entire life. 
Actually, come to think of it, it wasn't a gingerbread house. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, a, a house with uh, candy taped on the window. This seems highly suspicious, brother. Brother, stop it! Stop! Okay. You didn't even get the candy part! Suddenly, the evil witch, the evil gothic Lolita witch, burst from the door and spotted the two children outside her house. Brother, we really need to find our way back home! Look, what are you two adorable little children doing at my door? Are you guys hungry? I have a ton of food and candy inside if you guys would like some. Candy? Candy? You get out of my way! You're not forever! Oh. <laughs> Using her seductive powers of seduction, the Goshik Rorita Princess Witch seduced the two children into her house with her seductive powers of seduction for, needless to say, nefarious purposes. After luring the two unfortunate children into her home, she bound them up together with and rope or cuffs or something, I don't know. They were bound. They were bound. My candy! Why you take my candy? Why you take my candy? Why? And she lit the stove in preparation to consume them, and by consume I mean eat them, their plump little bratty child bodies like all parents want to do from time to time. Except she wasn't their parent. Man, you know, I, I noticed there's a lot of bills over here. Maybe we could work something out. <laughs> Ma'am. You know. You remind me a lot of my dead wife. But Dad! You, you also remind me a lot of a future wife! What the f- <laughs> Uh, ma'am, I have to say, if you eat him, you're gonna have diabetes! Sorry for that indiscretion, darling. I just... Beauty distracts me. Anyway. Where were we in the story? Where were we in the story? Ah, yes! So, Hansel, while he was looking for candy, because that fat little pudge thought every fucking thing was candy, came across a bottle of water. You won't and he came candy. up with an uncharacteristically <gasps> smart idea <laughs> to throw water at the evil gothic Lolita Desu Wit. That was unexpected. Because he'd seen The Wizard of Oz five or six hundred times and thought that water would be a weakness, and it turned out, yes! And it killed her, painfully and slowly and desolately. She became yeah. candy. The end. I'm so glad the three of us could have this experience of Fair, fairy tale fun together. Good night, my son. I'm gonna go hang out with your dad. <laughs>